Hello and welcome to the short presentation of our Delta-based modeling framework for SPL engineering. The screencast is divided into several parts. In part 1 we will show how to integrate the framework into the Eclipse environment. In part 2 we will introduce shortly the basic concepts of Delta-based modeling of SPLs. Part 3 introduces a SPL example called Smart Home Systems that will be implemented in part 4 using our framework. So if you are only interested in the tool handling, you can directly start with part 4. You can simply install our framework using the update site mechanism of Eclipse. Currently our framework is based on the Eclipse Lunar modeling tools, including the eCore diagram editor of the eCore legacy tools and the graphical editing framework. Furthermore, you have to install the modeling transformation framework EMF Henshin and the model difference tool Zlift from the respective update sites. Feature IDE can be simply installed using the Eclipse Marketplace. Let's take a look at the basic concepts of model-driven development of software product lines. Software product line engineering is divided into two sub-processes, domain engineering and application engineering. Each sub-process can be separated into a problem space describing the valid combinations of features representing a product of the SPL, and the solution space implementing the features using certain variability mechanisms. During domain engineering, the features must be mapped onto the implementation artifacts of the solution space, according to a chosen variability mechanism. During application engineering, a valid combination is chosen in order to generate a product by binding the respective variability points. In model-driven development of software product lines, models replace the source code as primary executable artifacts in the solution space. There are several approaches to express variability in models. Our framework is based on a transformational approach called Delta Modeling. The basic idea is to transform a model which represents a valid product defined by the problem space, also called core model, into another model using delta modules. Each delta module contains several transformation rules we refer to as edit steps. An edit step inserts, removes or modifies model elements. In this example the core model is modified by applying two delta modules. Usually, delta modules must be manually written, using a domain-specific textual delta language. Writing delta modules by hand is very clumsy, and the effect of the contained added steps are difficult to assess. Furthermore, dependencies and conflicts can be hidden by the complex structure of the delta modules. Here, the added step which creates the relation between E4 and E5 depends on the added step of the first delta module that creates the element E4. Such information must be managed manually too. In our approach, a delta module is created by comparing two states of a model. Therefore, the core model is opened and modified using the standard editor of the modeling language. After that, the two states of the model are compared using the model difference tool Zlift, and the respective edit steps are calculated. The resulting delta module is added to a delta module set representing the solution space of the SPL. As a result of the concepts of Zlift, we are able to analyze pairs of delta modules for multiple relation kinds. Then we can optimize the delta modules with various operations by exploiting the results of the relation analysis. Ok, let's take a look at the example domain we want to implement using our framework. Here the problem space of the product line is defined by a feature model. We only consider a small excerpt of that one, which is specified as follows. A smart home system always consists of a lock control in order to lock the current state of each door lock. Optionally, one or more authentication devices can be chosen to replace a manual door lock mechanism by a keypad, fingerprint scanner or a card reader. After a successful authentication, the respective door will be unlocked automatically. Therefore, the feature automatic lock is required. Furthermore, the feature door opener can be chosen in order to open a door automatically using motion sensors. We now demonstrate how to implement the example domain of a smart home system. In the first place, we need a variability model which describes the problem space of the domain and the core model. In our case, the feature model was created using feature IDE and the core model is given by an eCore class diagram. After creating the variability and the core model, we create a delta modeling project. 
On the first page we enter a project name. On the second page we have to choose the core model and the feature model. Furthermore, we must choose a technical difference builder and a matcher, which will be used during the creation of a delta module. Now the delta module set opens. A delta module set is responsible for managing all delta modules and their relationships. We now implement the feature authentication device by modifying a copy of the core model. As you can see here, we add among others the class authentication device and input device. After saving the model copy, we generate the delta module, which is added to the delta module set of our project. Therefore, we select both models and open the context menu. Here we choose delta modeling and then generate delta module. Now we must select the respective delta module set and enter a name and an application condition for the delta module. The application condition specifies the set of features which are realized by the delta module. Here we only need to select authentication device. On the second page we must choose the direction of the delta module. Now the delta module is added to the delta module set. The effect of the delta module can be visualized by selecting an operation of the delta module and opening the compare view. The models from which the delta module has been derived are opened and the respective changes of an operation invocation are highlighted. Now, starting from a copy of the model representing the feature authentication device, we implement the feature fingerprint scanner by subclassing authentication device and input device. Furthermore, the classes scanner sensor and database are created. After that, we derive the feature modules as already described and replay the steps for the features card reader and keypad. Now the delta module set consists of four delta modules. In order to analyze their relations, we select Analyze Delta Module Relation from the context menu of the editor. The result can be seen in the DMS Relation Graph view on the right. A node represents a delta module, while the relations are depicted as edges. A blue edge represents a dependency between two delta modules, meaning both delta modules can only be applied in a certain order. An orange edge represents a duplicated relation between two delta modules, meaning both delta modules contains added steps leading to the same effect. By clicking on the respective edges, for example the duplicate relation, the property view provides some information about the relation. Here we get a relation matrix of the respective edit steps. By selecting an entry, we get some information about the effect of the involved edit steps. We can observe that the class database is created by both delta modules. So applying both delta modules would lead to undesired duplicates of model elements. To avoid such duplicates, we have to extract the duplicated edit steps from both delta modules and create a new delta module containing these edit steps only once. This can be done by applying the intersect restructuring. The resulting delta module contains only the common edit steps. To delete the common edit steps from the delta module's fingerprint scanner and card reader, we use a subtraction refactoring D1 minus D2. The order of the arguments is determined by the order of the selected respective delta modules. When first selecting fingerprint scanner, then card reader, the restructuring creates a new delta module containing only the edit steps of fingerprint scanner without the common ones. The same applies for first selecting card reader, then fingerprint scanner. The new delta modules replaces the original ones, so we can delete them. After reanalyzing the delta module set, we can see that there aren't any duplicates anymore. With the delta module set on hand, we can now compose different products. Therefore, we bind the requested variability points. In this case, we will combine a fingerprint scanner with a card reader. Now the required delta modules will be composed automatically. We also include tooling to inspect the effect of a delta step by step. Or in a simple case, the developer can apply all deltas as a batch process. So, this was an overview about our tool for delta-based modeling of software product lines. We thank you for watching and please visit our website for further information. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact us.